five? Hello everyone, welcome to another morning episode of Code with Swiss. I'm in a bathrobe. So what we're gonna be working on today is upgrading all of my sites to Gatsby v3 from version two. I don't know how eventful this is going to be. We're gonna be following their tutorial and hoping for the best. The problem I'm, I'm struggling with is that if you look at my Gatsby Cloud builds recently, they have started just erroring out. So after a while, my, my build is running, there's no error. It just gets literally canceled by Gatsby. And I got an email from them saying, yo, you should upgrade from your $17 per month plan to a $90 per month plan because you are running out of memory. That is a lot of money for a personal blog. So we're not gonna be doing that. Instead, I'm going to upgrade my, I'm gonna try to upgrade my sites to using Gatsby V3, which features incremental builds. Oh wow, why is this still zoomed in? So Gatsby V3 has incremental builds, which in theory should make it perform better because it's not always building every page from scratch. We're gonna see if that works and uh, hope for the best. So what I'm what I'm working with is a Gatsby, plat a Gatsby team that I've created that supports all of my sites. It's running my blog, it's running all of my different courses, and it's running serverlesshandbook.dev. Um, it's, the reason I have a team is so that I can use the same platform and the same code base for everything, so I don't have to think about what is and isn't supported in several places and we'll see if upgrading it to Gatsby v3 works. Um, also, something, just a sec. Yeah, this, this microphone got detached from the camera and it was looking floppy and distracting me. All right, let's see, is anyone actually watching? If you're, if you're watching, please say hi in the chat room. It's always fun when people actually say stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start with, we have major dependency updates. We're gonna go from, we're gonna go to node 12 from, oh, I thought we were already on node 12. New ES linked, blah, blah, blah. Webpack 15, that, Webpack 5, that's gonna be fun and there's a bunch of breaking changes. So I'm gonna go to migrating from VT, V2 to V3 and follow their checklist. Introduction, this is a reference. Yes, 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 updating your dependencies. First, you need to update dependencies. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go here and run. Let's do npm install. Oh. Yarn, oh, come on, yarn add Gatsby at latest. And let's see what that does. I'm hoping that that actually updates my package JSON because if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to go through everything manually. So how's my T doing? Hmm. All right, let's see what happens. By the way, how loud is the bird in the background? Because I'm about to strangle him. Okay. So that's running. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did that update package JSON? No, it did not. Why? Dude, stop. Package JSON. Let's see. Gatsby team course platform. Gatsby. Bah. Okay, so I have my key. Uh, I'll be right back. The bird needs to die.
All right, no more screaming bird in the background. Now let's see. Why did installing Gatsby version three not do anything? Oh, because it installed there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then let's just move it out of peer dependencies because I think that actually makes sense. So we don't need it there. It doesn't need to be in whew, in dev dependencies. Uh, if you you want to use legacy peer depths option when following the instructions in this guide, nope, we don't need that. Whew. Update Gatsby related packages. All right. So now let's try yarn outdated. Is that a thing that also exists in yarn? Yarn outdated. Oh, damn. So, hey, Mihia. God damn it. I really need to figure out a way to do this stuff better. How's Slovenia these days? Let's see. So I have a bunch of outdated stuff. And we're going to install all of them. Oh, I can do yarn upgrade interactive minus minus latest. And that's going to be way easier. Um, yeah. How do I? OK, well, let's go again from scratch because I think something fucked up. So I'm going to go through and try to upgrade everything and see if it works. Space. No, space, yes. We're gonna update that. We wanna update Prism, we wanna update SideNav, typography, uh, yes, div functions, Gatsby image, plugin catch links, plugin Google Analytics, plugin manifest, plugin MDX, plugin offline, plugin React Helmet, plugin Sharp, plugin Slug. Wow. Plugin Team UI, plugin Twitter, plugin link, co copy linked files. Oh, nice. So you don't have curfew anymore in Slovenia? Do you still need to stay in your um, oh, React use auth? Yeah, that's fine. We, why is rebass still here? There should not be any rebass anymore. Am I actually still using rebass? Let's see. CD, CD backpack, CD dot, where were we? Um, CD random coding, course platform, course platform, git grab rebass. Am I importing it anywhere? No, I'm not. It's just installed for no reason. So we're not going to update that. We are going to update team UI. We want to update plugin TypeScript, and that's it. So now I'm going to say enter and see what happens. So this should now update all of my dependencies and everything that was outdated. So that part was pretty easy. And then we're going to have to see what um, what sort of things break. Using community plugins, you might see warnings like these in your terminal. It's not compatible. If you're using NPM 7, the warning may instead be an error. Cool. Uh -huh. OK. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping, aha, so a bunch of them are complaining about unmet peer dependencies, which we knew was going to happen. Mm -hmm. An amazing ecosystem of plugins, depending on how the plugin author authors have declared. If you rely on a plugin that is not found within the list of plugins within the, you very well may need to use the following resolutions in the near term. Uh huh. Okay. That's new. What are what are resolutions? Okay, so we can do that, and then I can say yarn remove rebass because we don't need that one anymore. All right. Cool. So I think everything should be installed now. We'll see. I'm going to try to publish it and see what happens. When upgrading an already existing project that has an existing node module folder and package lock, you might run into version mismatches. An effective way to get around this issue is blah. Please note if you rely on a plugin that is not found, yarn If you encounter, depending on how the plugin authors have declared dependencies, 
which we have encountered. There's a bunch of warnings here. Mm -hmm. Gatsby plugin load script. Wow, there's a bunch of them. Is incorrect dependency team UI. Okay, that's weird. Why is team UI declared in a way that's um, incompatible with itself? That's weird. Okay, so we've done that. Get status, get commit minus a minus m, and we say, what do we say? We say um, update packages. Did that upgrade everything? I think it did. Yes. Okay. So up, we updated all of our packages to Gatsby v3. And let's see. Okay. Let's go through breaking changes. Minimal node version. That was fine. Webpack upgraded. Uh-huh. ESLint. Gatsby is the APIs push, replace, and navigate to in Gatsby link were deprecated. So let's see if we have any of those. Git grab navigate to. Nope. Git grab replace. Um, oh, god damn, I found it. So this is, I finally found the thing. This is the part that was actually breaking. Um, where is it? This was breaking my code in Safari. So that's cool. I'm going to... What is that doing? I think that's called normalize URL. Okay, I'm going to try to fix that. At least I found it now. Um, edit link. Nope, that's fine. And let's see, git grab push. That doesn't show up anywhere. Do we have experimental teams? We do not have that. Right? I'm just going to verify that I don't have any breaking stuff. Path context. Oh, I think I am using that. Git grab path context. Nope. Awesome. Uh, bound action creators. I don't think I have those either. Yay. Delete nodes. I think I also don't have that. Git grab delete nodes. Nope. Don't have that. And let's see. Git grab. Field name, nope, don't have that one. Don't have field value. And do I have create node field? Wow. This might actually just work by magic. Has no changed. I don't think I have that. Nope, don't have that. Mm, I don't think, do we have sizes for image queries? Git grab sizes. Got. Oh, no, that's fine. Resolutions. That's also fine. Oh, but I have it in package JSON. What am I resolutioning? Resolutions. Oh, that's fine. Do, do, do. Touch node. I think I don't have that one either. Nope. Don't have that. We already know I don't have delete node. Get resources for path name. We don't have that. Using a global GraphQL tag for queries. Import React. Oh, okay, I think I don't have that anywhere. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to try to run it. CSS modules. We don't have that because I'm using Team UI. Gatsby, Gatsby plugin SAS. I don't use that. Okay. I think I don't have that either. Nice. This is working pretty well so far. Webpack 5. I don't have any custom configs. Proce a common error is process is not defined. If you're using process.browser in your components, you should switch to a window is not defined check. I, don't, I have a bunch of those, but they're checks. Character escape sequence, I don't have that. Type name field is no longer added automatically. I don't I think I'm not using that. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna try it and see what happens. So I'm gonna publish. Nope. I'm gonna 
This is going to be a breaking change in the course platform. So we're going to have to go with 200 zero, zero, minus zero. So I'm going to run npm publish. And the reason it's a, I'm treating this as if it's a package because I think I'm going to open source it later this year. Uh, but we'll see if that happens. At least I think it's a pretty cool, um, I think it's a pretty cool project slash package. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, Authy, I need to enter my OTP. 957240. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I was too late. It expired. Let's see. Okay. Come on. Install. And then we're going to try it on my serverless handbook page. So here we're going to say yarn add. Uh, we're running. Two zero zero minus zero, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna open the actual page here in a new window. So we open that thing. Come on, go to website. Serverless handbook is the one I'm testing on, and we're gonna wait for package JSON to get installed or. Why, what is, why is this here? Okay, so I'm gonna go into package JSON and let's see if it gets any changes. Mm -hmm. Come on, computer. Okay, well, this is taking forever. Let's see. So if anyone feels like telling me a story while we're waiting, please go ahead. I I don't feel like I have a lot of stories to talk about today. Um, I kind of knew that this, let's see. Yeah, I, I kind of knew that this particular um, episode is going to be kind of a schlep. That's partially why I'm live coding it because it helps me focus and actually, uh, you know, not run away and go on Twitter and waste a bunch of time while I'm waiting for things. So that's always good about live coding. Um, but it does mean that sometimes these episodes aren't as interesting as they could be. Let's see. Wow. 142,000 dependencies. That is a lot of dependencies. And by the way, am I dropping any frames? It seems OBS seems to be telling us. Oh, Miha asks for a funny story from work. Funny story from work. Oh, here's a funny story from work. I was at a I was at a company offsite, kind of an offsite slash training um, last week. And there was a lady who, uh, who's like a little bit older. She's, I don't know how old she is. She's probably like kind of a similar age as my mom, maybe a little younger. Um, definitely in her, definitely like probably at least 10 years older than me. And she saw my cast and she was like, wow, that is so cool. You have a pink cast. That is, that is very brave of you. And I was like, brave? It's just pink. It's like. I don't think anyone in my generation really cares anymore about men wearing pink or not pink. It's actually kind of cooler when you wear something that's traditionally non-masculine. And I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if it qualifies as funny, but it was a it was an interesting kind of um, insight into the into differences between generations and how far we've come as a society. So that was cool. Um, also, I got to see LA which was also super fun. I finally got to see the beaches that the that TV has always promised me were in California and I haven't seen ever. Um, I don't know, does that, does that scratch your funny story from work uh, question, Miha? Okay, 
So now I need to, I'm gonna actually RMRF my node modules. Now, why am I doing this on the master branch? That's stupid. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Get checkout minus B. 222 course platform v2. And I'm going to rmrf yarn.lock and I'm going to rmrf my node modules. I want to nuke everything to make sure that it's installed correctly before I try running it. And we're going to remove Gatsby and we're going to add the, the same dependency for React as we had here. So the same peer dependency like that. And uh, now I'm going to run it again. Oh, wow. It's, RMRF is still running. That's weird. Okay, so now, Micha, it's your turn. You have to tell us a funny story from work. Why is this so slow? What is my computer doing that's making it so slow? Oh, of course, Notion is still running. That's dumb. Safari should definitely not be running right now. And I don't need this to be running either or IA writer. Yeah, something is definitely up with my computer today. It is struggling. Let's see. I wonder if I can see the temperature. I cannot. Okay. So I'm going to run yarn again and hope that it runs faster this time. I just want to get a clean install of everything. Yeah, it seems to be going a little faster this time. It's, uh, wow. Something is complaining about core JS. That's fun. Mm. Oh, interesting. I have an unmet, unmet peer dependency of TypeScript. So we're going to install that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Come on, computer. Okay, we're now installing 60,000 dependencies. No wonder it's taking a while. Also, how crazy is that that um, how crazy is it that in the JavaScript ecosystem you get these ridiculous numbers of dependencies? And it's not even that complicated of a website. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. You got this computer. Okay. So a bunch of things are complaining about TypeScript not being installed. So I'm just going to install TypeScript while we're here, which might take a little longer. Yarn add minus minus peer TypeScript. Do, do, do. Oh, wow. How come you started the company writing documentation? How does that work? How does a company write documentation? I would love to know more about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to do yarn start. And let's see what happens. Okay, so that doesn't work. Gatsby develop can only be run for a Gatsby site. Does not contain a valid package. JSON or Gatsby is not specified as a dependency. What? Oh, wait, no. That's not a peer dependency. That needs to be a normal dependency. Yarn add TypeScript. Oh, so it looks like Gatsby does need to be, it can't be installed from your team. It needs to be a peer dependency. So that's fun. Let's go here 
and say yarn add minus minus peer Gatsby at latest. So this is back in my course platform. We're adding Gatsby as the latest um, as a peer dependency instead of as a direct dependency. Um, also, am I using React Live anywhere? Because that that was another one that was a little silly. So I'm gonna check that. Git crap, React Live. I'm not using it anywhere, so we're gonna remove that. Yarn remove this thing. So we're removing this guy because we don't need it anymore, and we moved Gatsby to a peer dependency, which means we can remove it from a direct dependency down here. Let's see. Um, so the light team I'm using is, I think I'm using the tomorrow team. Do you know how to check? It's been a long time since I checked how my VS code config. No. Uh, command shift P. Okay. So let's see. Command shift P team. Preferences color team. I am using the tomorrow team. And I really like it because like you said, the team is, uh, it doesn't use too many colors and it's not too crazy, which I really like. Okay. So we've got that. We're now going to bump the version and say, git commit minus M minus M move Gatsby to peer. Yeah. Git. And then we say NPM publish publish a new thingy. Let's see. And the reason I'm doing it as publishing is because it wasn't working when I tried. I tried setting up my yarn workspaces to work properly and I just couldn't get it to work. So here we are. I'm gonna now yarn add the Gatsby team course platform minus one. And we're going to try starting it again and hope for the best. This time Gatsby is actually installed in the, in the thing, which should make it work. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Come on. You're not installing as many dependencies. Yes. So yarn start, it should now be able to start because Gatsby is actually installed as a direct dependency, not through a team. And it is failing because start development server, blah, Gatsby develop can only be run on a, for a Gatsby site. Either the current working directory does not contain a valid package JSON or Gatsby is not specified as a dependency. Um, oh, wait, Gatsby is indeed not defined as a dependency. Yarn add Gatsby at latest. Did I run it in the wrong thing? Okay, let's try that. So now it's actually going to be defined as a dependency and we'll be able to run Gatsby develop. I hope. Mm-hmm, <laughs> computer, come on. Wow, now it's installing 29,000 dependencies. That's kind of crazy. See this, when I shut up, this is what they call bad radio. So yarn start, let's see what happens. Oh, I wonder what journalist is. That sounds funny. Let's look it up. What is a journalist? A journalist, it does pretty console output. That's cool. 
Neat. Okay. Cool. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay, now we How was I not cannot this structure property create node field of bound action creators as it is undefined? Now, how the heck were we not Come on. How the heck was I not finding this before? Aha. Uh -huh. Because it is being done from Gatsby plugin slug. Gatsby plugin slug, where are you? Command F Gatsby plugin slug is a dependency. However, didn't we upgrade all dependencies? One, one, one. Do, 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 do. Gatsby plugin slug. I'm pretty sure that thing has been upgraded. Gatsby plugin slug. Seven months ago. Add slug field to markdown remark and MDX nodes. All right. So why does that not work anymore? We go to GitHub and look it up. Gatsby plugin slug, which is no longer compatible. Mm -hmm. Is this being upgraded sup support for Gatsby v3? Looks like just need to change bound actions creator creators to actions from the from the migration guide. All right. So what uh, what is the Gatsby plugin slug doing for us? Do I actually need it anymore? Usage plugins Gatsby slug slug my custom slug. Do I have that anywhere? Let's see. Git grab slug. Uh huh. So it doesn't look like I'm actually using this. Use the slug in context to get more data. Let's see. Git grab slug. Git grab slug. Am I doing that anywhere? Yes. I am in fact using it, at least in Swizzes.com. Post node fields slugs. Yep. Made using it in the course platform itself. Wow. That is a... Why would I want to buy followers? That does not make you famous, you stupid bot. Git grab slug in Gatsby tree. Uh huh. It does look like we use that stuff a lot. Okay. Now let's see. Is there anything else that does the same thing? Gatsby plugin slug field. Create slugs from node. This plugin was completely rewritten in version 0 0.3. Check the version. Create slugs from node data using blah. No, that's not what I want. Okay, so we're gonna try to upgrade Gatsby plugin slug. We're gonna make a pull request to this person. Wow, I'm using a plugin with six that six people are using. Great. So let's see. Uh, we're going to fork this thing. Yes. Do, 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 do. How do I fork it again? Fork. We're going to fork it to mine. And let's see what we get. So we made a fork. And now we're going to download it to my random coding repository or my random coding thing uh, directory cd dot dot and we're gonna cd dot dot again and we say git clone this thing git git clone blah I wonder how many people are actually using this plugin let's see npmjs Gatsby plugin slug. Let's 
seven months ago was last published and oh it does get a couple of weekly downloads that's nice so we are doing a good deed here we are we're gonna open it oh let's make a new branch git check out my cd gatsby plugin slug and we git check out minus b and and say what are we saying this is mm, get checkout minus b gatsby v3 gatsby v3 support typing better would be nice okay gatsby v3 support we open the the repository gatsby plugin slug and i'm just gonna copy what the guy said in migration in the migration guide okay, so gatsby node here we're using instead of bound action creators let's see bound action creators what are they doing bound action creators what do we need to change it to bound action creators becomes actions so this is actions oh i know i should turn off formatting just in case I don't want to uh, do any, do make too many changes. All right, so we have that. And now we're going to git commit minus m minus m uh, bound action creators becomes actions. And we are going to update the package JSON to support Gatsby v3. To do prettier, prettier, lint staged, Gatsby node, files, index.js, keywords, Gatsby, dev dependencies, dependencies. Does it have, does it list peer dependencies? It does not list, list peer dependencies. Okay, so that should be fine. We're now gonna git push, git push origin Gatsby v3 support. And then in my course platform, I'm going to install it straight from GitHub. So we go to random coding course platform, this. And we're going to change the Gatsby plugin, plugin slug to use the GitHub version. So we say swizzet slash Gatsby plugin slug at Gatsby v3 support. That should work. Let's try if it does work. I'm gonna run yarn again just to make sure that that installs. Is it doing it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know why it's installing 11,000 packages again just to update that one, but I'm hoping it works. And then we're going to check in node modules to verify that it actually did install the correct version. Okay, so if we go vim dot slash node modules, Gatsby plugin slug, we should have a Gatsby node. And yes, so you see it installed instead of actions here, instead of get bounded actions, it says actions. So that should work. We're now gonna publish a new version of this, 2.0.0.2, and we say npm publish, and let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so we publish that, then we yarn add it here, version two, and we'll see if that fixes all of the issues. I'm gonna run yarn start again and hope for the best. Again, fingers crossed. Okay, yarn start. Let's see, Gatsby develop, yarn start, 
what will happen here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's promising. Um, Gatsby plugin advanced sitemap is also complaining, but hopefully, hopefully it still works. Now let's see if this runs. Okay. The icon is not square. Don't care about that right now. The fixed and fluid resolvers are deprecated. Sw switch to Gatsby plugin image for better performance and a simpler API. We can deal with that in a little bit. Well, we're not going to deal with it today. We're going to deal with it some other day. First, let's check if this unblocks my... Well, first we're going to check that it actually works. And then I'm going to try to deploy it to Gatsby Cloud and see if it, that makes it work. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can't resolve Emotion Core. If you're trying to use a package, make sure Emotion Core is installed. So this would be in components. Wait, where is this? Source wizards git grab emotion slash core. Where am I installing that? In layout.js. Layout.js emotion core. What does global do? Am, and am I actually using it? Global styles body margin zero. I think we can ignore that. Let's see what happens if I remove this. And let's try that again. Yarn start. So one of the nice things about doing schleps like this is that you get to fix up a bunch of crud that you had l uh, laying around. And that's always useful. Am I using that in the course platform itself? Git grab global. Guess I am. Okay. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Come on, computer. Okay, seems to be working. Mm -hmm. All right, that's promising. Okay, so it's building the development bundle, which means that this should just start working. Uh, Savant, it's been probably like 10 years since I was a serious Linux user, so I'm not really sure which one I would recommend. Um, last I checked, Ubuntu, or or however you pronounce that, was... That one looked like it's the easiest to use and has like the best bank for buck when it comes to actually using your computer not as a hobby. So that's what I would recommend. Um, I also used Gentoo. That was fun, but ultimately not the best use of your time, I would say. These days, I'm honestly just on macOS because it works and it means I don't have to fiddle with my computer too much. I don't know if that answers your question, but yeah, it's, it's the recommendation I would give you. Oh, come on. Why is it building development bundle for so long? Mm -hmm. OK. 
Come on, computer, you can do this. Come on, come on, computer. Oh, wow, 11 errors. Nice. Uh, cannot find module Babel preset Gatsby in use local storage JS. Use, use local storage JS. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna Google this. Yeah. Okay, so this must have something to do with known issues, webpack, yarn workspaces, schema customization. Uh, okay. Let's see what the heck this is about. Babel preset Gatsby. Cannot find module. Why is it not finding module Babel preset Gatsby? Should I just install it? Oh, actually let's go to GitHub issues for Gatsby. And maybe that there's something there. Gatsby. Gatsby issues. Uh, Babel preset Gatsby. And I'm fine if the issue is closed. Cannot read property. Cannot import custom library. Webpack error using Gatsby v3. Automatic JSX runtime failed during build of Gatsby site based on a team. Babel error, blah. That looks promising. Babel preset Gatsby. There we go. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Sorry to hear you're running. I had the same problem. To help us begin debugging the under cause, minimal reproduction. For my case, it was caused by Gatsby plugin S3. After remove it, it works again. Yeah. Okay. So let's try just adding it here. I'm going to go back to the course platform and say yarn add babel preset Gatsby. And I'm going to make, so I'm installing that. Hello, nine people. I don't know where you all showed up from, but where, please say hi in the chat room. Um, we're also not doing anything extremely exciting today. Uh, unmet peer dependency. Should we just add Core JS, I like. You would think that um, Gatsby would come with these things installed. Okay, so I got that. We're gonna go back here, bump the version to two zero zero minus three, npm publish. Oh, and I'm actually going to have to stop live coding soon. But we've made a lot of progress. npm publish, authy, 140045, come on. God damn it. Ah, I got it wrong. Okay, let's try again. npm publish. Come on. Okay. No, god damn it. Why do I keep doing it wrong? So I hope nobody is stealing my um, OTP code. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to install that again here. Yarn add three. And then we're going to try yarn start again. And that's going to be the last time we do it on this stream because I have my first meeting in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
darn start fingers crossed and I hope this works I think we're pretty close to having a working Gatsby v3 site um, so then I've looked into a couple of headless CMSs I don't like any of them primarily because I like to write in markdown and I like to keep my um, basically the main problem I've always had with all CMSs is that they are geared towards people who um, towards like marketers and people like that and I hate to write in that kind of environment because I like to use markdown and I like to use simple editors that are text-based instead of writing with um, like a super fancy UI that has way too many options and just kind of gets in the way of writing. So then I wanted to have my all of my sites also support publishing directly in Markdown so that it's easier and faster. So that's why I use MDX and uh, this kind of Git-based approach. Does that answer your question? Okay, let's see. Building development bundle. Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, how do you like headless CMSs and which ones have you tried then? I would love if you know of, of a good one that lets me actually write and publish in Markdown, that would be amazing. Otherwise, I think I'm very close to just saying fuck it and releasing my course platform as an actual product itself. Because I think it would be useful to some people, to enough people, who knows? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. But what's the authoring experience like in Strapi? Because, uh, it's it's the authoring experience that's usually been my problem with a lot of these CMSs. Come on, build the bundle. Let's let's get this working. Uh, okay. Changes Gatsby cache clearing to not clear Webex cache unless you run. Okay. Woo. Nice. All right, so let's see. Now if I go to localhost 8000, nice. Okay. I don't know why the layout broke. That's weird. So the the layout broke a little, which I can fix easily, but it seems to work. So all of this stuff is there. Tweets show up. Nice. That should work. If I go to the image vanished, if I go to a specific chapter, let's see what happens. I get the chapter and it's locked which is great. So that's working. Nice. And then if I log in, can I log in? Yes. All right. Everything seems to be working. So on that terrifying success, we upgraded, we basically just upgraded all of my websites from Gatsby v2 to v3. And the only thing that is broken is a couple of layouting issues on 
the serverless handbook page. I'm gonna try this later on all of my other pages and try it on suizas.com as well. Hopefully that's going to deploy. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. If I get suizas.com actually working and deployable, I'm going to write a short write-up about this. Although I'm not really sure there's that much to write about or anything super useful to say. So maybe there's not gonna be any recap for this Code with Swiss episode. Basically, we got it working. It's amazing, and I will see you all next time when I'm going to start probably an interesting new project that's going to take us a couple of weeks to build. Bye.